Hi, you're watching the news with me. I'm Dipavli Hazra. These are the headlines at the top of 12 o'clock. After the trust vote that ended the 14-month Congress JDS coalition government in Karnataka, Congress General Secretary Priyanka Gandhi Vadra warned the BJP, saying that one day the rival party would realize that not everything can be bought. The Congress has charged the BJP of poaching its MLAs to bring down the government in Karnataka. Priyanka said that people must now endure the BJP's unbridled corruption. After the decisive trust vote in Karnataka Assembly yesterday, now the fate of the 15 rebel MLAs hangs in the balance. The Speaker K.R. Ramesh is yet to decide on their resignations while their parties have sought their disqualification. It is believed that some of the MLAs may have been offered ministerial posts in the new BS Yadurapa-led BJP government, but that would depend on the Speaker's decision on the rebel's fate. Chief Economic Advisor to US President Donald Trump told the media that it is very rude to ask if the President makes things up. Trump top advisor Larry Kudrow was responding to a question posed by a journalist following up on Trump's remarks on Kashmir. Earlier, foreign policy veteran Nicholas Burns had said that uh, New Delhi's rebuttal to Trump's claim was embarrassing and that this is what happens when you make things up. After an Anganwadi centre in Karera in Madhya Pradesh was found using a compact kitchen cum toilet, Minister Imarti Devi sought to downplay the incident and said that it is okay to cook in the toilet if a partition exists between the latrine and the stove. She even said that utensils can be kept on the toilet seat but assured that an inquiry would be conducted in the case. Pakistan Prime Minister at a Capitol Hill reception in the United States admitted that at a time there were 40 terror groups operating on Pakistani soil. He said that successive Pakistani governments, uh, especially over the last 15 years, did not tell the truth about the situation. He said that part of the reason was that the Pakistani governments were not in control. That's all for now. Stay tuned for more updates.